Travolta saw Jennifer Lopez fast to divorce her husband Ben Affleck following two years of marriage and sources claim that she's extremely devastated by this decision. You guys, we will be looking at the timeline leading to this trouble in paradise, of course, their divorce on this video. But before we get right into it, hey kings and queens, welcome back to the channel. Here's your girl royalty back with another celebrity relationship gist. To all returning subscribers, you guys are the re-MVP. And if you're new, you're so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. And please do like this video, it does help our channel. Thank you. So you guys, we've got the shocking news that J-Lo and Ben Affleck's marriage is coming to an end. Indeed, Jennifer Lopez filed for divorce in Los Angeles on August 20th after two years of marriage. Guys, do you all recall that these two got married actually on August 20 of 2022, just exactly two years and the marriage is over. A source claimed that Jennifer filed herself without a lawyer and that the pair did not have a prenup. At the time of the announcement, Access Hollywood had reached out to Jennifer and Ben's teams for comment, but so far there haven't been any comment. The date JLo filed is quite significant as well as it marks the second anniversary of their lavish Giorgio wedding in 2022. Although the pair tied the knot for the first time in Las Vegas on July 16, 2022, but of course the wedding celebration was done on August 20, 2022. This would be JLo's fourth divorce and Ben's second. The filing comes after months of speculation that the couple was facing tension in their marriage, with a source telling Access Hollywood in May that the two were living separately. More than a month later in June, people reported that Ben had moved his things out of the couple's shared mansion in Beverly Hills, which they purchased in 2023. That home is now publicly listed for $68 million. Prior to this filing, JLo and Ben Affleck had not been spotted together in weeks. Ben was noticeably absent when the London Costa Teen singer traveled to Europe in June. The two celebrated the 4th of July holiday separately and didn't spend their second wedding anniversary together. Speaking about the speculations about their separation, let's go into the timeline of this brewing trouble in Paris. So in March of 2024, all seemed well for them. On March 30th, the couple spent Easter weekend together in New York City. They were seen holding hands hand in hand. The outing came amid a report that JLo was devastated by the flop of her Affleck-inspired love album This Is Me Now. It was the last time they were pictured together for over a month. And then come May, on May 6th, Jennifer Lopez attended the Met Gala in New York City since Affleck. It's notable as she co-chaired the evening and the date would have been on their calendar for some time but of course her husband was not on site. The outing came one day after the Oscar winner made a solo appearance at Netflix Tom Brady's roast in LA. Okay and, and then comes May 16. People magazine reported it had been 47 days since Lopez and Affleck was publicly pictured together. Shortly after Us Weekly claimed that Ben Affleck and Lopez are having issues in their marriage but were not splitting. Hours later, the couple were photographed together with their rings on, sort of like trying to debunk this news. Meanwhile, Jello was spotted liking an Instagram post about relationship red flags. The Instagram post was about unhealthy relationship traits, called out people who don't know who they are or what they want and more. And then comes May 17, a source claimed to People Magazine that the couple were living separately in Los Angeles as Ben rented his own home. And then on May 30th, the pair put on a united front to celebrate the graduation of Ben Affleck's daughter Violet. And then on May 31st, after reports of low ticket sales, JLo officially cancelled her This Is Me live tour at the 11th hour. In her newsletter, she said she was completely heart sick and devastated over the decision but called it absolutely necessary. And also the concert promoter Live Nation added in a statement that she's taking time off to to be with her children, family, and close friends. And there comes the month of June. This is the kicker, you guys, because it is the kick of summer living separately. On June 12th, the journey from the blog star was seen entering Ben Affleck.
Netflix rental home, but it was for a graduation party for his and Jennifer's Garner's son, Samuel. The superstars were photographed with their wedding rings on when they attended the ceremony earlier that day. On June 16, the singer shared a Father's Day tribute to Ben, calling him a hero. On June 19, J-Lo was spotted on an Italian vacation with friends while Ben Affleck remained in Los Angeles. On June 28, people reported that while J-Lo was on vacation, Ben Affleck quietly moved his stuff out of their shared home, even though they were both spotted wearing their wedding bands. On July 12, although it was reported weeks prior, the pair were privately trying to offload their Beverly Hills mansion for $68 million. They officially listed it publicly. On July 14, J-Lo was pictured arm in arm with Affleck's 18-year-old daughter Violet in the Hamptons. And there comes July 16, their two-year anniversary of their Las Vegas elopement came and went without any acknowledgement on social media. J-Lo continued her Hamptons vacation while Ben Affleck remained in LA. What is going on? And then came July 24th, Jennifer Lopez turned 55, which is a huge milestone, but of course without her husband by her side. But she wasn't sitting around moping, no she wasn't. She started off her day with a beautiful post wearing her PJ and staring at her beautiful cake. She made a post saying, I've been seeing all of your birthday witches, beautiful videos and posts all last night and this morning from all over the world. I have laughed, smiled, shed some tears and when I saw the b-board in Times Square, I was completely overwhelmed. I really do have the best, most amazing fans in the world. I could never express how moved I am or how incredibly blessed I feel to have all of you be a part of my life. Thank you so very much. It's hard to believe we have spent all this time together. It's funny as I sit here contemplating on the most extraordinary journey, I still feel like the same girl starting it out so full of energy and bravado, so ready to take on the whole world on the other side and yet so tender, fragile and sometimes frightened but always full of love on the inside. I have so much love for you. I want you to know on my birthday that you are my biggest gift. Beside my family and friends, you have always been there for me in the good times and in the tough times. I can always count on you and I want you to know that you can always count on me. Thank you for caring, your understanding, your loyalty and most importantly your love. Thank you, thank you, thank you always Jennifer. And you guys noticed from that post there was nothing, not even a mention about her husband, nothing. And there came July 25th, JLo gave her fans a look into her lavish Bridgerton themed birthday party. She threw herself in the Hamptons. And of course, dearest gentle readers, as splendid and as beautiful as that birthday bash was, her dear husband was not in sight. In another video she posted on Instagram, she sang with vocal coach TV that happy days are here again. And then on July 27th, TMZ reported that Affleck had closed escrow on the Brentwood mansion for $20.5 million. The outlet called a divorce inevitable and claimed that Lopez was looking for her own house to purchase in LA. Lopez was said to be looking for a place of her own as the system million mansion they purchased together in 2023 is up for sale. And then on August 4th, Jennifer Lopez returns from New York and is spotted out in the Beverly Hills with M, one of her and her ex, Mark Anthony, 16 year old twin. And on August 15, Ben Affleck turned 52 without much fanfare or a mention on social media from his wife, JLo. Osas told people that he had a small birthday party celebration at home with his kids. However, it was the first confirmed sighting of, of JLo and Ben together in months. Osas claimed that Jennifer Lopez by to congratulate him. It's exactly what he wanted. He didn't want to go out to celebrate. The kids had gifts for him and it was cute, the sauce claimed. And there came August 20th, of course, news broke out on all platforms that J-Lo had filed for divorce from her husband of two years, Ben Affleck. You guys, it's been a pretty rough patch considering the timeline to this divorce. I guess it was quite inevitable and everyone could tell that there was trouble in paradise. A source who know Ben Affleck and J-Lo told Yahoo Entertainment that it's sad but it's for the best. 
This is really sad. However, JLo was the one who pulled the plunge and filed for divorce. And this is a move that came after months of speculation about her and Ben Affleck's relationship. And even though JLo is the one who filed first, a source claims she's extremely upset about the situation. A source told people that a Jenny from the Block star tried really hard to make things work and is heartbroken. The kids are a top priority as they always have been. The insider also adds that JLo was done waiting and ready to move on saying she's very disappointed and sad but ben hasn't given her any sign that he wants to continue their marriage and JLo was also seen shopping with Ben's son somewhere earlier this month. And actually, the couple's blended family are one of the main reasons Ben and Jane waited so long to pull the trigger on their split. A source recently told Entertainment Tonight that they wanted to make sure that everything was seamless, especially with everyone involved. Neither of them wants this process to be rushed. They are treating the separation with as much grace, understanding, and gentleness as they can. They want to make sure the kids are comfortable with the transition where they are living etc they don't want to make it feel like they're pulling the rug from underneath their children they are making a mutual effort to ensure that this transition is as healthy and easy as possible the person close to the situation explained you guys this is really sad but did you all see this coming i mean there were a lot of speculations on videos and photos that surfaced online of the both of them outside he always looked like he was upset he was mad or he was totally unhappy j-lo sometimes always looked like she's about to break down she's about to cry like she's unhappy guys i know people like to spin the block and yes it works for some maybe one in a thousand but it doesn't always work for everyone i hope that they handle this divorce with grace like the insider claims so that the children because of course these are the ones who will have to you know get their emotions involved get used to their parents new spouse and then again when they are close to this person the separation is brought up and guys the kids are always the one to suffer because they say when two elephants fight it is the grass who suffer inside of this ring right here my engagement ring that he gave me it says not period going period anywhere period uh, where my first diamond ring, he gave me the pink diamond ring, it said same. And this one he put not period, going period, anywhere period, because that's how he would sign his emails when we started talking again. And don't worry. Don't worry, wow. I'm not going anywhere. Wow. You guys, it's a bit crazy out there. I feel real sorry for JLo. It felt like she wanted this to be her forever love. You guys, she even came up with the This Is Me Now album and everything that was supposed to be beautiful, but I guess it didn't turn out the way she wanted. But what are folks on the streets saying? This commenter says that woman needs to be alone for a while and reflect. Another user says the definition of insanity is to do the same thing and expect a different result. Another user says, I think they both were not on the same page. You have a jailer who is self-centered and likes to be in the limelight and Ben an introvert who is still dealing with and maintaining his sobriety. Do y'all think JLo is the problem or do y'all feel like Ben Affleck is the problem? Do y'all feel like JLo was trying to really save this marriage given it her all? Or do y'all think Ben was not just coming and she's done waiting like the insider claim? Do you guys share your thoughts in the comment section? Y'all know I love to hear your thoughts and opinion. And as always, thank you so much guys for watching. If you got to this point of the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay bye bye